Welcome to Toy Poloi. Hello and welcome to another video from Toy Poloi. Now over the last couple of years I've been restoring a few ATATs that I picked up at various uh, toy fairs and flea markets. And the last part that I need to uh, fix two of them are chin guns and a bulb cover. Now I've been searching for these for a long time and prices do seem to be uh, crazy on all Star Wars stuff at the moment. So in the end I found a place that uh, produced reproduction ones. This is a place called reproparts.net. Uh, great site, got lots of good bits so I thought I'd get a few bits from there to see what they look like. So first up, I ordered a couple of uh, chin guns. As you can see, these are uh, pretty good reproductions. There's not uh, no sort of bubbles or anything in them. You can see a few sort of mould marks, but the actual guns look pretty good. So I'm, I'm uh, really happy with these and I think these should look quite good on my uh, my ATAT. Also needed a uh, ba uh, bulb cover, so I bought one of those as well from uh, reproparts.net. As you can see, that's a pretty good match. The colour is a, a very good match. Actually, in the meantime, I did manage to find uh, one original bulb cover, as you can see here, and it's pretty hard to tell the difference between these two. So I'm uh, very happy with the quality of that, and that should sit quite nicely um, in uh, in my ATAT. If you look uh, very closely at the bottom, uh, you can see that the front section of the reproduction one is actually quite a lot thicker uh, than an original one. If you just look there, you can see the original one's quite thin. So there is a little telltale sign that this is uh, a reproduction one but uh, it does look pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and put these on my attack and see what they look like and then I also want to try and make uh, some sort of cheap reproduction uh, f uh, chin guns of my own. So here we have the reproduction guns in place. As you can see they fit quite nicely. The uh, bulb cover works quite well as well and uh, hopefully if I press the button on the inside these guns should work. Uh, and you can see they are flashing. If I just put my hand there you should be able to see them flashing and they look pretty good. Oh, looks like the batteries are flat, but uh, yeah, we've got uh, pretty good guns there. So uh, now I want to go ahead and see if I can make some uh, sort of simple reproduction ones of my own to put in some of the other attacks rather than spending money on buying reproductions. So here's one of the repros, and in my toolbox uh, on a recent restoration I bought some Perspex rods for uh, restoring a uh, snow speeder. If you've watched those videos you'll see that I use these to make the front gun sort of inner tube. Uh, now I had quite a few of these rods left and I thought it would be uh, well, it's a fairly good match. It's almost the right diameter, as you see there, uh, to match uh, these chin guns. So I thought it would be a good idea to try and use this uh, to uh, make some new guns. So uh, I took these out into my workshop and using a hot air gun that I have, it's slightly... Hot air gun uh, produces a greater heat than a hairdryer, but a hairdryer should do the work. I was able to bend the perspex uh, and uh, shape it around the edge of a metal tin that I had uh, outside uh, and produce something that's a pretty good shape. So uh, let's take a look at that. So this is what I was able to produce. As you can see, it doesn't look too bad. I, uh, the curve I got in was uh, pretty close to the original curve. If I hold it up here against uh, the repro one, you can see that it matches quite well. I obviously trim the ends down to be the right length, and I even cut uh, a small groove. As you can see, the end of the, the gun has a groove in it, so I've cut a small groove. I think uh, I could do with making it a little bit bigger, but it's uh, sort of close enough for now. So that's uh, the starting uh, of uh, something that almost looks right. So uh, next stage is obviously the front part of the gun is slightly thicker there and there's also a couple of little catchy bits here that uh, catch onto the mechanisms inside the ATAT's head. So uh, let's try and see if we can uh, make those. So again another quick rummage in my toolbox and I found some plastic tubing. Now this is the sort of tubing that you'd use in an aquarium. Uh, I think I picked this up off eBay. It's some um, fairly cheap stuff. You can buy sort of just short metre lengths of it for a couple of quid. Um, I bought this for another project but I uh, don't think I ever got around to using it. I thought this might do because uh, it's clear and I should be able to cut some bits that just sort of match. I'm not going to try and make anything that looks too perfect, I just want something that sort of gives the impression of some chin guns. So what I've done is I've cut a couple of bits of uh, the tubing as you can see here. Uh, I put a, one bit to uh, do sort of uh, replace the little fixing bits just so that it wedges in and another bit to uh, match the end. So it, again it's not amazing but it's it should do the job for a sort of display purposes so uh, as you can see this one's a bit loose i've just got to work out a way to do that and i think just a little bit of sticky tape wrapped around on the inside so it should uh, make that tight enough uh, and then uh, we can go ahead and uh, fit these inside the uh, attack and see what they look like so i've just got a thin bit of sticky tape here and i'm going to uh, wrap that around try and get it about the right position and this is just to make this bit of perspex slightly thicker so that the uh, tubing uh, should fit nicely. So just 
to stick that around. I'm not quite sure how much sticky tape I'm going to need, but uh, let's try one one roll of that and we'll see. Actually, that's not too bad. It's just made it slightly uh, wider. There you go. And that's, uh, yeah, that's pretty good. These are never going to be perfect, but uh, I just want something that looks roughly right. So uh, let's go and make our, another one of these and then we can fit them inside the attack and see how they work. And so here we have my very cheap replacements, just a couple of bits of perspex and some plastic tubing. Actually, they don't look too bad. I'm going to put uh, both attacks together at the end so you can see them. But just uh, looking like this, they look pretty good. So if I just uh, press the button inside so you can see them working, you can see they do work and they do light up. It's actually quite effective. So uh, uh, these aren't, you know, going to fool anybody. But if you're building a sort of an army of attacks, I've got three of these and I'm not going to spend the money uh, that I need to to get uh, original uh, chin guns on them, then these are going to work quite well. So uh, I'll put the two attacks together and you can see what they look like uh, side by side. And so here we have my two attacks. This guy on the right here has the uh, reproduction chin guns and this guy on the left has the reproduction chin guns that I made out of some Perspex rods. As you can see, they actually look pretty good uh, standing together. So I'm really quite happy with the uh, simplicity of my little design there with some Perspex rods. So if you just want some quick, cheap, easy fix ones, then uh, you can make your own. If you want to buy some replacement ones, then uh, go to reproparts.net. These ones seem pretty good, uh, pretty good quality. Or if you want to spend a fortune, then uh, go on eBay and you'll probably spend uh, 30 or more pounds on the original ones, uh, which considering both of these attacks cost me a total of 17 quid, uh, 30 quid for the gun seems like a bit of a rip-off. So uh, stick to repro ones, I would, or just make your own, because uh, really, for your own collection, it doesn't really matter. They look good. So I hope that video has been of interest to you, and thanks for watching. Thanks for watching Toy Poloi. Subscribe for more great videos. You can also follow Toy Poloi on Twitter and Facebook.